Hey everybody, it's real. Um, wanted to keep you guys posted on who my hair got. I've got my hair done. But I wanted to keep you posted on uh, what I've been doing here lately. Um, back on track is my uh, situation right now. So, um, I'm on my porch, y'all. And it's about, the high today is going to be about 80. Yeah. So, before long, it's going to be too hot to sit out this time of day. Like, it's 12 o'clock. And give it a couple of months, give it probably another month, and it's going to be uh, just too hot to do anything. Um, but I wanted to share with you guys something that um, has um, strike my interest and I've known about it for a while but since I'm back to basics and I'm doing things the way I need to do it um, I thought about bento boxes and I know this is a bit crazy you know out on the you know blogs and you know different you know different mother blogs and um, homemaker blogs and stuff like that uh, a lot of a lot of moms, you know, go above and beyond <laughs> as far as lunch boxes go, and lunch is concerned with their kids. So, um, but anyway, I took that approach and bought some um, Ziploc containers. I bought some other little off-brand containers, just things that I, in my mind, I said to myself, um, this would work for me. And so I was getting ready to eat my uh, lunch. It's about 12.30. And I was getting ready to eat my lunch. And I said, well, I'll do, go ahead and do a video while I have it, it, it in my container. Now, I measured out my chicken before. And I don't know if you can see it. This side is chicken. And it's three ounces. This is a little bit of uh, beans. And this is a little bit of salad. And of course, if you guys are into Japanese culture as I am, not as much as I want to be, um, but I'm going to have to talk and eat, y'all, because I'm starving. Not really starving, I would just say I'm starving, I guess. Um, as a matter of fact, this is chicken strips, the frozen chicken strip that you just warm up, and it has like a smoky flavor to it like a grilled flavor to it it's good so I'm asking you guys can you guys eat all that I'm a year and a half out really 17 months out and I never really track how much I can eat you know um I think I'll probably eat all this but in the bigger scheme of things, it's not a whole lot of food when you've been used to eating platefuls and platefuls and platefuls all that time. Can you guys remember how it used how it was when you went to a a buffet? You know, my husband liked going to those places in, for breakfast, and so you know I'll go and get like eggs. There's some fruit. You know, sometimes I'll even get like, they'll have chicken on the bar. And I'm, you know, I'm sitting there eating my little food. And you just see people. who are going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth with stacks full of plates. And I'm like, I can't, I can't. I cannot remember eating that much. So when I look at this, I think it is so much. And so I say to myself, am I eating too much? But, back to my back on the track stuff. I've been journaling again. Um, I went to Dollar Journal. And bought about two or three of these journal books. For me, 
you know, the co more colorful, the more, more funky, it just makes me feel like, you know, I'm doing something. I don't know, y'all. But anyway, I started back over again. In my mind, I'm starting over because I'm tired of these 180s. I'm ready to see 70 and 60. I'm ready to see, you know, by the time school is out and let back in, like in August, I want to be 160. Y'all, that's only 20 pounds. I mean, why can't I lose 20 pounds in three months? So that's my goal. So in my book, I wrote my uh, vitamin schedule. And I'm real good with that now. I found some pouch rules online and I added those to this side to keep me straight. Um, and then I started. So the first day I started was March 14th. Y'all see that number? Y'all see that? That's the number I started. So I gained, y'all gained about 10 pounds since I've been around here playing. Because I was feeling sorry for myself because I wasn't losing the weight. And, excuse me, y'all. Um, I wasn't losing the weight, so I just said, whatever. I can eat anything I want, so that's what I started doing. Because I felt cheated. If that makes sense. Going to the support group meetings made me feel more cheated than anything because I hear stories like, you know, oh, I can't get down any of this and I can't, I tried to taste a little something and I got so sick. I know that sounds sadistic that I want to get sick with stuff, but I felt like, you know, did I get the same surgery everybody else got, you know? Why, why is my body so free from um, feeling like I, I actually have R and Y, you know? The only indication I have is that I can't eat a lot of food. That's the only indication. So... I try to implement some cashews in my diet. Nuts are not our friends. Mind you, before surgery, I rarely ate nuts. Now I gotta have them. So that's my vice more than candy bars and everything else. I don't crave the sweets the way I crave those nuts, you know? And I was a junk food junkie. I mean, if you see my very first video that I put on YouTube, I said, my name is Real and I'm a junk food junkie. I mean, because I, and I still do have to um, tell myself, no, you are not eating that uh, when I see stuff. Um... But yeah, so on the 14th, I was starting at 193.4. And as usual, I started out with my uh, protein coffee. I started with uh, one scoop. You know, I get the Walmart brand, and one serving is two scoops, which is, you know, 52 grams. But I always do one scoop. Up until a couple of days ago. I started doing a scoop and a half. So my first day, I was really good. You know, I had the protein coffee. How about my patch, pouch rules just popped off my page? I'm going to have to staple it. Anyway, I had the protein coffee for breakfast, which was a couple of hours after I had the coffee. I had two eggs, one slice of cheese, and two turkey bacon, which totaled 21 grams. I get a lot of my... I get a lot of my protein grams in the morning. Um, 
Because as you know, I'm not a big lunch eater. So I'm really, I really have to stop and say, okay, let me get some real food for lunch. Or I'll just drink my way through lunch. Um, so that day I had grilled chicken, a quarter cup of apples. That's what I should have put in the salad, some apples and some romaine lettuce. This salad actually is just romaine lettuce, some um, casserole cheese, just mixed cheese, and some raspberry uh, vinaigrette. So it was just something to, I guess to say I had a vegetable, but it's not really a vegetable. Y'all see that big old bite? It's not really that big. So, the theme of my snacks all week has been um, Greek yogurt. And I mix that with uh, fat free pudding. I don't prepare the pudding, I just, I just, you know, sprinkle in the dry pudding. And then so I've done um, the cheesecake flavor, chocolate flavor, butterscotch. I have pistachio on there. I may try the pistachio later on this week. I've never had pistachio. But all in all, to make a long story short, because I'm already at 11 minutes, just running my mouth. Um, from Monday to Monday, from, from the first Monday to yesterday, I was at, yesterday I was at 187. So I lost a total of 6 pounds just doing what I was supposed to do. Mind you, I never lost a total of 6 pounds in a week in my, in my entire journey, except for the first couple of weeks. I've always been a two pound, maybe three pound a week loser. So for me to lose six whole pounds like that is awesome. So I'm going to keep doing it this week. Um, I may even throw in a, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to keep going this way. I said, I was going to say I was going to throw in the pouch test, but I'm not going to do that. I think I'm on track enough that I don't need the pouch test. Um, but I just wanted to keep you guys posted and ask you, do you guys do like bento boxes or something similar? If you do, share a video. I would love to see your bento boxes. Because <laughs> I'm going to um, start doing some real cute ones and start posting them or something. Just something different to do besides always talking about um, weights, you know, I, how much I weigh and all that kind of stuff. I want to focus on all the things I'm doing right right now. I'm going to finish my lunch and I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, bye.